In this video, I'm gonna talk about my three favorite Big Woods rut funnel setups that I've been using for many years now. I've been hunting the Big Woods of Northern Minnesota for over 20 years. And these three particular rut funnel setups are those that I think stand out above the rest in terms of being able to get you that big buck encounter or just any buck encounter for that matter um, consistently. And what I'm talking about when I say big woods settings is those without any egg fields, food plots, bait piles, things like that. Um, these are just vast public land tracks of wilderness type settings and just you know endless cover interspersed with clear cuts, beaver ponds, creeks, um, things like that. All right, so the first big woods rut funnel that I'm gonna talk about is a mature conifer stand surrounded by any other type of trees, typically like a deciduous type tree. So in the parts of the country where I hunt on public land, it seems like those real mature conifer stands aren't very common. Um, they are sprinkled around throughout the landscape, but I'm talking about mature spruce, balsam, any of the pines, uh, red pine, jack pine, stuff like that. Um, when you have a tight clone of those uh, mature trees, oftentimes you'll have like big mature popples mixed in with balsam or, you know, spruce and th there may be some oaks mixed in with the spruce, but it's that conifer stand surrounded by an ocean of some other type of tree. Maybe it's deciduous hardwoods, maybe it's young popple regrowth, like popple regen from clear cuts. But it seems like those deer really want to relate to the actual conifers themselves. It's fairly open under these conifer stands. It's closed canopy overhead. And it just seems to provide, especially in colder climate areas like where we're at, it provides thermal cover when it starts to get really cold during the rut. Um, but also it just, even if it's not cold, I've found that that's where those bucks love to scrape. I've found most of my natural primary scrapes that I've found in the woods have come from those areas at or near a conifer stand. Um, bucks love to make scrapes under balsams, spruce, uh, jack pine, things like that where I'm at. And for some reason, it's just has that attraction to the deer, it becomes a social hub. And it's one of my favorite types of rut funnels that I will focus on. Again, it's just that it's an island effect where it's a different type of cover surrounded by oftentimes deciduous cover of some sort. All right, now the second type of rut funnel that is one of my favorites has really proven itself over the years is that swamp island surrounded by a stick swamp, some type of, you know, a wet swamp, can even be a dry swamp too. Uh, but any, any type of high ground, so this is a topographical difference, any type of high ground swamp island surrounded by swamp. I'll, I'll throw another one in this category and that is the swamp hourglass. So if you have two large land masses connected by a skinny strip of high ground with, with big swamp on both sides, these are dynamite in the big woods. You know, these big woods settings have low deer densities, poor or scattered food sources. They don't have that confining food source feature that you'll get with when you do food plots in an egg country and things like that, or even a bait pile. So those bucks are using the landscape, the topography the, of the high ground to move through the countryside to search for those hot does during the peak of the rut. And you know, the time of year that I'm referring to when I'm hunting these types of locations, it's usually gun season up here, early November. It's that, it's the lead up to and then the peak of the rut, but primarily that lead up to, uh, you can call it the pre-rut um, and, and then that actual peak when those bucks are out seeking the doe groups and searching for those first estrus does. All right, now the third and equally as important type of big woods rut funnel that I have had tons of success in over the years is an hourglass created by two younger clear cuts. So again, the part of the country where we're in, it's real scattered random food throughout the woods. Um, very few oaks even, but one area that has concentrated the deer consistently year in and year out is uh, the actual clear cuts that get made. So logging is really big in this area. And when the logger comes through, it's solid aspen whips and regen coming up. 
and that is a key food source and it it has all of that edge cover that edge browse early successional growth where you go from that mature woods down into the new clear cut tons of transition cover around it and these areas hold deer in them so not only do you have does bedding in them and bucks bedding in them but it has the best daytime browse the best food available in any given area so Although it doesn't confine the deer that well, it's the best you can do in those big wood settings. And so for that reason, if you have a big vast clear cut, it's often not times practical to be able to hunt a stand on the edge of an enormous clear cut. There's just too much cover. You can't see the deer down in the popple region. And it's, it's just an ineffective way to cover ground. So what you can look for is where two large, younger clear cuts are connected by a skinny hourglass of clear cut. That's where you can start to find that confining pinch point feature. You can get a stand up in that hourglass between the two larger clear cuts. And those deer are gonna be using those two clear cuts. There'll be doe family groups, doe zones, as I call them, in those two clear cuts. And during that uh, pre-rut, as those bucks are seeking does, they're gonna be satelliting and looping through those large younger clear cuts where the doe family groups are, and then just zipping back and forth between those two large clear cuts through that hourglass, that bottleneck effect. That's where you can get your stand in. You can T-bone the movement really nice. Oftentimes you can see the line of movement going side to side between the two larger clear cuts. And that's where if you have a stand facing perpendicular, you can get in and out without spooking all those deer off every time. So that's my third favorite type of rut funnel in the big woods. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate your time. Until next time, take care.